The Boys has definitely been one of the most popular superhero shows lately. In a time of oversaturated Marvel content and a steady wait for good DC content, The Boys and Invincible have been trying to keep us satiated. And people are definitely starting to turn on The Boys for its fourth season. They're turning on Starlight for her new facial appearance. They're turning on Butcher for having one of the most predictable twists of a television show in recent years. They're turning on Frenchie either for quote becoming gay or for having a boyfriend that's basically a plot device. They're turning on Kimiko for not being into Frenchie romantically. And they're even turning on the established edginess of the show, with episode 6 not only being too much for some people, but also criticized as being a bit pointless, which... Yeah, kind of. But in actuality, all these problems are pretty minuscule compared to the larger problems which have followed the show since season one. Buildups and letdowns. Everyone can agree that the core of this show has always lied in Homelander and Billy Butcher. Billy wants revenge against Homelander, while Homelander is an egotistical, narcissistic maniac who gets pleasure out of the suffering of others, kind of, sometimes. We'll talk about it more later. For season four specifically, there's problems that exist and problems that people are making up. The show was quite clearly milking Homelander and Billy's relationship. The core reason people don't like season four is because it's essentially stopped all of the tension it's been building by introducing new characters and trying to start new storylines. On its fourth season, they're trying to do this, and I think people are catching on and not accepting it. Especially because with all of the new stuff, there's a pretty strict focus on the past for almost every major character. Homelander revisits his childhood home and murders everyone there, which... Relatable. Butcher's literally haunted by some guy he didn't save. Starlight's being punished by her pageantry days. Frenchie killed some guy's family and is sleeping with him. Kimiko's hunting down the remnants of the Shining Light group. M.M. is... Actually, M.M.'s kind of fine in this season so far. I, I don't mind him. Huey's mom turns up out of nowhere, and I don't know if you've noticed, viewer, but we've never actually seen any of these things before. They were made up for this season. We've never seen Starlight bearing animosity towards other pageant girls, regardless of if it fits. We've never seen evidence of Colin or his family. We've never seen Joe Kessler, Huey's mom, the random shining light woman, or Homelander's somewhat tragic past, even if it's been alluded to a little bit. The last three seasons have consistently escalated the storyline of the show. Everyone kind of thinks that season two is one of the weaker seasons, but we can all agree that the finale kind of makes up for it. And then season three keeps it going. We give the boys superpowers, things get dicier with the introduction of Soldier Boy, and then we get to this season, and there's not really anything happening at all. The characters are all dead set on reminiscing about their past, and Homelander and Butcher have spoken to each other once this season. If anything, this season has been more of a rivalry between Homelander and Starlight, as things have gotten much more political in the story as time has gone on. Which is fine, the show's going for that realistic tone. But like I said, we're losing that tension we've been building. The center of the show, Billy Butcher, is dying, and no one cares because we don't even know what the parasite's doing to him or if it'll even matter in taking down Homelander. But first, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Another large issue with this season is they're saving everything that matters for the end, and it's making the season as a whole feel really boring. Episode 7 just came out and it was the best one yet because it's the only time that the story has actually developed. Like Frenchie being released from prison and developing the soup virus and learning why Kimiko doesn't talk, along with the best fight scene of the season so far. It definitely shouldn't have taken this long for things to actually happen. It'll probably be in the last episode that we find out what's going on with Billy's parasite, what Newman's motivations are other than just wanting to be in power, and what Sister Sage is actually trying to do and who she's aligned with. These are all plot threads that have been around since the first episode of this season. Establishing the motivations early on is a good way to make us feel a certain way about a character. Homelander's scary because he's unpredictable, but we know he wants to be in absolute power while being adored by the people. That's good. But I don't really know how to feel about Sage when she walks into a room. Because she's not physically dangerous, she's not proven to be all that smart, only really pedantic, and I don't know what she's trying to do. New and kind of gets away with it because she probably has the scariest power of anyone in the show, but not knowing the motivation of the main villains aside from Homelander is not a positive. And the final problem with this season is that the established characters just have way too much plot armor. I don't like using that phrase, but it definitely applies here. Look. I don't want any of the boys to die from any of the villains, and it's scary to think about the options. If Frenchie or Kimiko dies, the other will be alone, and for Frenchie to die at his lowest would be needlessly cruel. If Huey dies, he's basically the original protagonist of the show, so it'd feel pretty wrong, especially after what he's gone through this season. M.M. is a kid, and he's probably the most good character of all of them, and no one wants to see Butcher die before he gets some kind of satisfaction in Homelander's demise. And Starlight's probably the easiest character to kill off, but again, it'd still feel wrong to put Huey through yet another a tragedy, and yet, we're four seasons in. Everyone around the boys is dying, soups have died, and they've made it through it all. And it's just getting ridiculous at this point. I'm not saying characters have to die for there to be consequences, but it doesn't feel right when everyone else in the show was treated like they're made of glass and the boys just persevere through everything. 
I could name a dozen times each of them should have died this season, especially Huey. So this season specifically is starting to drop the ball a little bit, but I still feel like people are getting upset over the wrong things. I personally cannot fathom how people are upset that Frenchie and Kimiko aren't together. I get it if you thought that season one or two, but the show's established multiple times that they're not going to get together. So Colin being in the show isn't a problem in itself, but again, the lack of setup is kind of annoying. People are complaining that the Joe Kessler twist is pretty obvious, and I definitely agree. It would have been very easy to convince the audience he was real, and they were just too confident that we'd assume he was real. As for episode 6, I don't know, I kind of liked it when I watched it, but everyone else seems to think it went too far. I just saw it as this season's hero gasm without the big fight scene, and yeah, the edginess of the comic is a huge reason people dislike it, and this episode kind of started to go into that territory. I don't blame people for not liking it, but to call it bad is a bit of a stretch. As for episode 7, it's definitely the best one so far. And it's worth mentioning that all of my complaints so far are not from being bored while watching the show. I mean, if there had to be fight scenes for me to be entertained, I wouldn't be watching this show. But it is a superhero show, and it has been a little lacking on the action this season. Just a little. But I've still gotta wait for the finale. But again, nothing with Homelander and Butchers happening at this point. You see, the center of the show was the relationship between these two, but they've changed a lot since season one, more than I think people realize. The initial reveal that Homelander's not a good soup comes from when he shoots down a plane just because someone insulted this chick he's into. He has motivation for what he does in season one, it's when he's at his most narcissistic, but also his most sane. Season two starts to give us more of an impression of how maniacal he can really be. He starts hanging out with a clone of Madeline Stilwell, who he just lasered in the eyes. He starts showing his love for milk, he claps a daredevil wannabe's ears just for fun, and a lot of his sexual relationship with Stormfront is based upon him making others suffer and lasering her chests. So yeah, he's starting to lose it here. But this season kind of says that he doesn't hurt people when he's angry, he just gets pleasure out of it for the most part. But then season 3 rolls around, which kind of goes back on this. He pushes a girl to jump from a ledge because he's angry that Stormfront died which is relatable, I guess. And he murders Black Noir for lying to him for years. He almost kills Newman just for speaking out against him. And then we get around to Gen V, and in his single minute of screen time, his character changes again. He asks Marie why she would hurt her own kind, implying that he reveres soups more than regular people. We've never, ever seen this behavior from him before, whether it's been alluded to or not. Now, I get it, right? Homelander's changing personality could be for a few reasons. It could be because he's literally starting to lose it over time. The stress of running Vought has made him more unstable. Maybe he's just a hypocrite, criticizing Marie for hurting his soup, even though he went out of his way to step on Termite and murder Black Noir. These are all fine reasons, I guess. But the problem is that the character's going back and forth between these motivations. Season 1, he's an unstable, rage-fueled soup. He's pretty much just as bad as everyone else, but also happens to be the strongest. I mean, he's barely even a main character in Season 1, definitely not as much as now. Season 2, he's bloodthirsty and gets aroused when he hurts people. Season 3, we kinda come to a mixture of the two, but definitely leaning more towards Season 1. And now, we come to Season 4. He's now reached a new level of instability, blowing up at Ryan, getting mad at the new Noir even though he was the one that killed the old one, getting mad at the Seven for always agreeing with him even though he hates being disagreed with. I genuinely think people would have more of a problem with his character if he wasn't played by Antony Starr, but granted, Antony Starr has clearly elevated Homelander past what should be possible and is doing a terrific job, so it's excusable. But people don't take issue with what Homelander and Butcher have been doing, they have an issue with what they haven't been doing, and that's interacting. Billy and Homelander have interacted under 10 times across the entire show, around 7 by my count. The finales of the last three seasons, a visit during season 3, a stare down during season 1, hero gasm, and a flashback. And the dynamic has only changed a few times. At first, Homelander saves Butcher just for fun, pretty much, and then Homelander tries to kill Butcher for what happened to Ryan and Stormfront, and then Homelander challenges Billy, and that's kind of the last time they clashed. Other than that, it's kind of like the Omni-Man plot in Invincible, where all of the concurrent plots aren't bad at all, but there's clearly one that everyone wants more of, and they can't give us more of the best storyline or the show will end sooner, and for some reason, we can't have that. So yes, The Boys is starting to overstay its welcome. Yes, the longer it goes on, the more it will hurt itself, and no, no single storyline is particularly bad, but there's one that everyone cares about and we're not going to get a solid conclusion to it until this show feels like ending. And who knows when that's going to be. I think it wouldn't be as bad if we didn't know it was going to be a five season run, so now we know that Homelander and Butcher are most likely going to make it through this season. Even if I think one of the boys is definitely going to die. I don't know who, 
but it's going to be someone. I can't give season 4 a rating out of 10 because it's not finished as of the making of this video, but the first 7 episodes probably get a 6.5 out of 10. I know that's harsh, but the finale can definitely bring things back. And this show's not really failing or anything, I genuinely think the A-Train Redemption arc and MM story are very good, so that's something. Anyway, if you enjoy talking about superheroes, video games, and stuff, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next video. Or not, that's fine. Play nice people.